In case you haven't heard or seen me lately, I'm pregnant. That means I'm bringing a sweet little life into this world, contrary to the wishes of Planned Parenthood. Now, being a librarian's child myself, I know the importance of the written word and the benefits of reading to your child. So I thought I would look for some good books to begin reading to my baby boy. Unfortunately, I found this. My first book of feminism for boys by Julie Merberg. It was published in 2018, and according to Amazon's summary, the book's humorous, familiar scenarios are treated as teachable moments for very young boys, ages zero to three, who will ideally grow up without ever questioning women's equality. Wow, I can't wait to turn the pages. But he doesn't need to hear any of this. But of course, I'll read it for all of you, and you tell me just how this book should be ranked or how ranked it really is. Let's begin. Respecting your mom is the right thing to do because she is a person, the one who made you. Well, duh, you should respect her and every other person. But can we just talk about for a second these messed up graphics because I don't know what's happening right here in this arm part. Plus, I don't know how long that little boy is gonna be able to sit there because woo, he looks like a heavy boy. It's okay to cry and to love and be sad. Boys can feel more than just happy or mad. Well, that's nice, but it's 2019 and boys aren't allowed to be anything but silent. Also, why do you assume that boys are only happy or mad? That's quite short-sighted of you. Someday when you're grown, you will be big and strong. If you think strength means muscles, your thinking is wrong. No, son, it's not. You, you should have muscles. Strength does mean muscles, but it's also everything else that they put in here. Why can't there also be muscles? Flex your brain power. Speak up for what's right. Know that women are strong. Use your words to win fights. Women are strong, but apparently according to this, not with muscles, because muscles is wrong. And use your words to win fights. Does that include, hey, hey, ho, ho, feminism has got to go? Sure hope that counts. But more seriously, verbal abuse is also not acceptable. Using words to win fights may be more emotionally damaging. I'm just saying. Play dress up or wrestle, make art, play with toys. Games are not made for just girls or just boys. Play dress up or wrestle, kind of like the WWE. You can do both of them at once. Be friends with girls. Play with kids who are kind. You'll learn more from friends who are different, you'll find. I hope that also includes different in thought, because that's how you learn as well. Not just race, class, gender. You'll be learning that, son. When you eat, clear your dishes. When you pee, lift the seat. That's a dishwasher. I'm not teaching my son to pee into a dishwasher. Why would you say, when you pee, lift the seat if you have a dishwasher? Clean up after yourself. Think of others. Be neat. Is this how boys are standing now when they pee? All shriveled up and scared? I'm, I'm not going to teach my son to pee like that. Does your son pee like that? Let me know in the comments. I guess maybe I just don't know how boys are supposed to pee. As soon as you're able, you can do simple chores. Make your bed. Take the trash out. Fold laundry. Sweep floors. This sounds like a list of things I have given to your father already to do. Now, if this book is actually for kids, ages zero to three, as they say, then that is a whole lot of child labor going on. There aren't girl jobs or boy jobs. Do what you can do. It's nobody's job to clean up after you. Well, actually, it is my job, and it's dad's job to clean up after you if you're ages zero to three, again, as this book is saying. If you're having a, a one-year-old try and make the bed, good luck to you. If you learn to work hard, you can do something cool. Fight fires, bake cakes, fly a spaceship, teach school. Is this Star Wars? Find a job that you'll love heading off to each day. Know the women you work with must earn equal pay. Absolutely, equal pay for equal work. We already took care of that, son, don't worry. You're just fine. If a girl says don't touch me or asks you to go, you must leave her alone because no means no. 
you're a baby and you're being lectured to about no meaning no. I'm so sorry. A just and fair world is within all our sights if you spread the word. Women's rights are human rights. There's the kicker. Women's rights are human rights. What a great message for a baby. You just came into this world, son, and now you must spread the word. Ah, be respectful, be kind, be fair, and here's why. Because women are holding up half the sky. Look at that, there's a little girl holding up half the sky, but oh, what did, <laughs> is that a boy? Is he holding up the other half? Why does he not get mentioned in here? And more importantly, I think when you take a look at both these children, I think their hands up are actually because <laughs> the book is over. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really look forward to reading them. And until next time, stay healthy, America. Thank you.